Fellow Warriors, how's going? This is Kasson. Welcome back to Samurai Wars 5. Wow, we literally witnessed some interesting things in the last episode, definitely. Oh my god. So we're... Uh, what, what the hell are we going to get this this stage? Mm. I suppose it's this is going to be uh, Matsunaga's side. That's what's looking like uh, about Shigisan castle, but on Matsunaga's side. I suspect it's gonna be that, but I don't know why I'm not gonna yet, but we'll see. Oh, uh, clear me to the spot, the Eagles roll. Okay, 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 okay. Good. So after we get this, we will get at uh, that stage the Higa's Revolt. Mitsuhide has boldly entered Iga, the stronghold of Sandai Momochi, dodge their sweet ninja attacks and kill the traitor. Harima Heiteibo, Nobunaga ni kakugo no amasa o danjirareta Mitsuhide ga Nobunaga to ikusa o tomo ni suru koto wa nakunatte ita. Mata, Mitsuki mo Nobunaga to no kouron no sue yukue o kuramaseru. Oda Kachu Nua, it's in a Kuomoi Kuki got Tachikomete Ita. Sono Sanaka Tokuga Kede, Muhon Sodo Ga Bopats. Sono Sodo no Ito o Hite Ita Shibo Shaga, Momochi Sanda Yu de Arto Hammes. Tokuga Kenny Skyru Hattori Hanzo Kara, Oko Keta Mitsuhidewa, Momochi Hikiru Iganin Dan o Tomez Speku, Shutsin Suru no Data. イガノラム。やはり半蔵殿に相談したのは妥当でしたな。もう持ち目。なぜ織田をかき乱すような真似を先行してイガの里に潜られた半蔵殿がいかな法を掴むか。殿。なあ、すまない。少し放けていたようだ。全く。総大将がこれでは下に示しがつきませぬ。どうか気を抜かれますな。俺は惑ってなどいない。この戦で桃地を倒し、必ずや証明せねば。Oh, come on, he just got offended. Just because no one called you a coward, now don't, don't get all but her meat sweet, please. I mean, Mitsuhide, you need to cool down a little bit. Just because he called you a coward, uh, it doesn't mean he doesn't care anymore. Well, to be honest, both of you became uh, like fucking dickheads. Well, you became an emo. Nobunaga became a f like a raging super saiyan all that, that always gets grumpy and annoyed. He's always uh, he's always angry. He never smiles. Toshimizu この気配は。うん。この気配は。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。
More like a magician than a ninja. Jesus. So he's already he already got his, his golden mask. Okay. Hmm, this will prove to be a very interesting battle indeed. Since it's an exclusive for uh, Mitsuhide. So I bet this is probably the, the canon the canonical battle of the, the uh, Higa Ninja's revolt because in the end uh, uh, the Higa Ninja did revolt uh, against uh, Nobunaga. Sandayu did in fact uh, cause the rebellion historically. So yeah, I do believe this is probably the canon part. So yeah. Boss and that you doesn't exactly do all this mess. That's that's for sure. He does cause a rebellion. He just rebe rebel against uh, Nobunaga. Yes, he, he does that, but it's not like uh, he, he starts causing all these problems that he is causing. Like really, it's a bit. It's a bit uh, too much. The fact that they make Sandayu the cause of everything in this game um, is a bit is a bit sick. I, I don't like it. Personally, I don't like it. But I don't know about you. But I feel like maybe they should uh, they should probably find a better excuse to make the Bunaga uh, that annoyed. Killing Ohime that early wasn't exactly. The, the best choice. I was expecting no email, I don't know, to follow him at an OG and die there. Why did what did it happen? That would be so much better. Oh, come on. I know there's like many rumors of Nohime. Like one of the rumors was also that she died of illness, not killed by Magoichi. So maybe they could have just uh, you know um made made something like uh, I don't know that she fell ill or something that would have been a bit better because it, it would have probably match the uh, historically but I bet even even there uh, people will have to say something about it they're just mad that no he may die too soon uh, that, that's the problem I do agree she dies way too soon like really it's not good because she has so much potential no she was absolutely an amazing and gorgeous character she was cute and sexy at the same time, no him as well. So her personality, I really like her personality in in this game. But really, the fact that they made her die way too soon was a mistake. Because it was a character that, that could have done more, you know, and making her die that soon was was really bad. Way too bad really, so So yeah. I don't really agree with that decision. I know probably that everybody's pissed off about that. Nobody wants uh, to even acknowledge that Nohime died uh, at the at, at the end. Like really, it, it, it's insane. Nobody wants to acknowledge that. Like nobody, nobody at all. And she literally dies too soon. She doesn't even get the chance to see Nobunaga all grown up. Like come on. What a shame. Oh, I, I think I did well to place the Shimitsu here. Because I know you will have some uh, some objectives in the somewhere. I knew it. What did I say? See what did I say? This is why I left the Shimitsu here in this in this area because I really want to miss the, the the objectives. To be honest, the, this seems to be a different from um, from the from Yeyasu's escape to Higa. Yeah, it's the map is still Higa because that's based in Higa, so that's fine for the map to be the same. What I don't understand is why it's night. Uh, in Anzo's cutscene, it was there was the sunset, so I I don't really get that really. 
that's something that kind of bothers me, but whatever. So, Mitsuri got called a coward and now he's all grumpy. Well, he was grumpy even before, but now he's, he got even more grumpy. Say, well, since Shikanosuke died, he almost uh, released his emotions. I don't get what what's this bullshit about uh, locking their emotions. Like, come on, it's just, it's just why you have to do that, man. It's a bit nuts, like really becoming inhuman uh, for Mitsuhide. I can understand Nobunaga, but Mitsuhide is another story. Mitsuhide didn't have to do that, really. It's, it's different from Nobunaga. It's not supposed to be like Nobunaga, really. That he has to be all cold and, and grumpy, like Nobunaga. It's not nice. I personally think it was a, a bad idea to make Mitsuhide all this grumpy. Sure, make him badass, but don't make him a fucking depressed emo. That's, that, that's what he looks like. Oh, come on. At this point, you know, the, I remember a Mitsuhide from Kessin 3. Also voiced by the same voice actor of Mitsuhide. He was such a badass, remember? He was very sly and evil, that Mitsuhide, in Kessin 3. I know it's probably because they want, the Mitsuhide theoretically was the antagonist of this of the of Kes, of Kessin 3. And Unaga was uh, was made all nice and kind. It's basically the game where Nobunaga he, he, he behaves nicely rather than a, a grumpy dickhead. It got many similarities, uh, casting three with, with uh, you know, Samurai Wars Five, especially with Nohime. There are so many th things that are very similar. However, uh, there are some characters that are missing from Kessin from uh, in this game from Kessin 3, like Naga Nagahide Niwa and Yoshinari Mori. Nagahide Niwa and Mori Yoshinari were made playable in Kessin 3, but in this game uh, they're not for some reason, which I, I really disagree. I feel like Nagahide Yoshinari was uh, they should have been playable. It, then it would have been like a Kessin 3 Musou. You guys know that I love Kessin 3 more than anything, so. Uh, a game that represents Kessin 3 to me, it's bo it's a bonus, but if it's not made well, then of course I'm not gonna be happy. This is why I think, this is why I really want the Samurai Wars fight to be, like, amazing. Like, like uh, you know, something really, 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 really nice. I know, but maybe you guys might think, hey, Kessin, you just had too, too many high expectations. I know, but Kessin 3 is my favorite game, and obviously... I do, I do have high expectations, of course, because I do, I do like the game a lot. Kessin 3 is my favorite game ever, so I do want it to do to do well, and I also want the Musou series to come back like uh, it was before. So obviously, obviously I do expect quite a lot. Because I do care, really. I care about this series really, really, really a lot, so... I don't want it to fail. Like, at all. I don't want people to keep talking shit non-stop. I don't want to keep talking shit non-stop. Especially me. You guys know, I do talk shit a lot about the new Musou games, the new ones, but... This one almost surprised me. Almost surprised me, really. It is quite entertaining, but it's not at the level, it's not even close to the old games. That's my problem that I got. It's really not close to the old games. And it really sucks. <clears throat> it's entertaining, but not close as the old games, that's for sure. So yeah. It's not about, it's not even about living in the past, and eh? by guessing you're just living in the past. No, it's not about that. The, the old games were good. A and that's it. The old games were good. So... So why should I, like, why should not praise them? If, it, if they were better before, then uh, I have to say, they were better before. 
I would like the new Musou games to be better than the old ones because it, it does suck, really. It really sucks the fact that I have to, I'm forced to go back to the old games and not play the new one. I would like, I would like to enjoy the new one. This is why I'm gonna try my best to enjoy Samurai Warriors 5 because it's a new game, it's, a new, it's, the, it's the latest Samurai Warriors and I really think uh, it should be not like at the level of the old games, but at least close, like come on. Otherwise, the Musou, game, the Musou series will be doomed. Uh, Dusty Warriors and Sonic Warriors will be doomed if they if they don't start bringing back the old the old gameplay. When when it, they used to be like uh, uh, they used to be hard, the troops used to be more you know uh, the AI used to be more aggressive, and the game used to go a little bit slower. I know people love uh, new. They, they do like uh, fast games. I do, I'm aware of that. They want to complete their games like uh, with a haste, with with a with a, with a, with a big speed. Uh, so uh, obviously they do make the uh, the new Musou games uh, really fast because they they easier to complete. And I know the Musou game is supposed to be relaxing. I, know, I get I get that. I get it. But at least add more add a bit of challenge. Uh, that, that won't that won't really hurt. The audience for the Musou is, uh, is uh, quite a aims to, uh, you know, to the aim, uh, you know, to attract everybody, like really, any uh, everybody who don't want to struggle in, in video games. I get that. Then why they they made down Stewardess Three that fucking hard? That Stewardess Three was absolutely one of the hardest games ever released during that time you have no idea how hard it was with extreme legends okay three vanilla it's not that hard it is actually quite hard but however extreme legends is absolutely insane and i'm talking about getting the defeat weapons and some fort weapons too you have no idea how bad it is really getting them uh i just watched my let's play down series 3 and my rare weapons videos to to believe it it's absolutely crazy, really, what you have to do to obtain certain weapons in in a game. And you don't, you don't really get that, those feelings anymore. What Mitsuki is doing? What the hell? What? What she's doing? Why she's here? Oh, Kazuchi's here. I like how Kazuchi always calls Mitsuki idiot. <laughs> it's quite funny. Boom. Where will Kazuchi defeat Mitsuki? Okay. I don't think so. As much as I I hate Yeyasu, uh, I don't want you to take his head. I just know you are a bonus objective, so this is why I'm gonna chase in you. Go fuck yourself. Like literally. See, like I craft uh, Toshimitsu's weapons, and look, I'm literally one-shotting everybody. I just don't like the fact that you're able to one-shot enemies this uh, this easier. Uh, the thing is, the game allowed me to craft this weapon like very early. That's the problem. You know, maybe if the game uh, will stop you from crafting like broken weapons, as like. At the beginning of the game, but that'll be great. Honestly, man, that, that'll be that'll be awesome. And bring back the items. You know, I feel like they should bring back the items, like uh, you know, the, the old items, uh, the old school items, like Dance Team Warriors three and four, that you had to grind for items. That was absolutely awesome, really. Red items, red weapons, more weapons. 
I literally forgot what it's like hunting for rare items, really. I, I forgot. I literally forgot. Sometimes we keep forgetting how amazing it was uh, hunting for rare items. It, it was a very good experience, personally, hunting for rare items. But unfortunately, it's not anymore because uh, they, they stopped me. Uh, adding the rare items for some reason. I don't know why. It was fun. It was very, very fun. Uh, the, the rare item things. I literally missed that hunting for rare items. Then, uh, in an in extreme legends, they will even add even more rare items to collect. That was that, those were the contents. Like really. Those were the fucking contents, but now we don't get the same level of contents like we used to in Musou games. This sucks, it's just... It's just sad, really. I know you guys have to hear me cry and rant, but... I, I, if, if I don't say those things, who's gonna say that? Wait, what?! Oh, what the fuck, ghost?! Sanda, you can summon ghost?! Jesus Christ, the holy shit, this guy's creepy. This guy is nuts. He can summon illusions, really. Oh my god. Unbelievable. It's not a new, by the way, the ghost from the past uh, uh, comes back. I remember even Dynasty World 7 on during the conquest of Chengdu with Denhai, you will meet Jugilian's ghost. But nobody saw it. Literally, Jugilian's ghost uh, like appeared in front of Den High. I remember in uh, in Shu's story, and in Shu's story, sorry, in Jane's story, in the last level, the conquest of Shu. That level was epic, by the way. You see, at least that's through seven. Even to you, it's it's easy. It does have some good quality content. Like it does have loads of replayability, especially with Extreme Legend expansion that they added uh, the secondary. Uh, Rare weapons, but even today they're extremely hard to get the one in nightmare difficulty. Like they're literally hard as fuck. Dance to, then Dance Tears 8 you also got secondary rare weapons, but what I miss is the is the rare items really. It was nice really the fact that the game will all, will literally rely on how good uh, your items were, uh, how lucky you were to farm for that for a good item. Like really, man? Why? Just why you have to remove the items? They were epic. I feel like they shouldn't remove the items. Personally, uh, it was a mistake removing the items. I have no idea why they've done that personally, but it, it was a bad idea. The items that are now in the game, they're just, they, they, you know, they're easily, they're easy to obtain and they're, you have to use them. Like, oh, fuck off, I don't, I don't want to do that. I just want, I would just want to equip amazing items, uh, hunt for them, farm good ones. I mean, the only game, the only game that Samurai Warriors uh, sold the items, it's Samurai Warriors 1. And they originally got some good epic items, by the way, Samurai Warriors 1. Especially Extreme Legend. It was actually, actually you will, you had to farm the items in Samurai Warriors 1 in a very weird way. Some of them were weird to farm. Were very weird to farm. He died. Nice, all objectives done. They were not hard, to be honest. Level 
Like, literally, those were not art at all. Quite easy. Very easy objectives indeed. それはこれからの竹千代次第だろう。瀬名姫様のためにも張り切っていこうぜ。そうだな。しかし未だ謎は消えない。なぜ三月が桃地と共にそなたはどう見る、カズージ。バカの考え、俺には分かりかねますね。
断らばぜひにご協力くだされ。そうのようだ。所詮は独善的なザレ事じゃねえか。まあいい。あんたの熱情をせいぜい利用させてもらうぜ。Okay, that's w e r e only gonna play as Matsunaga. That's still very interesting and unusual, really. Playing as, Mat as Matsunaga on Matsunaga's side, like really? Okay, that's super interesting. Uh, we're not good. What level is this guy? 18. No, let's level it up a little bit. It's not like, like, he's 13. Like, come on. There we go. Some new moves and skill, I suppose, you got now. Much better. Nah, I feel bad really if he's low level. He deserves more, Matsunaga. <laughs> I do like like a lot of Matsunaga in this game. Uh, he's very badass. Very very calm too. I think this actually this probably fits better for him, this horse. So yeah, let's see. Yeah, see we got a new New attacks. Very unusual to play as Matsunaga's side in this game. See, so yeah, like he's on his own, like he doesn't have any playable officers around him. But besides his sons, you know. See, he only got his son. But besides that, like nothing. So Sandai is here, but, uh, but those people, do they do they know that Sandai is, is helping Matsunaga? Like right now? No wonder. What's the other unique attack? Two, three, four, five, okay. Uh, stop me from doing it, really. Just wanna... Oh, come on! I just wanna have a look! Who's stopping me? They're they throwing me something. Come on. Like, really? Let me try it. I wanna see. Ooh. It, it throws lots of bombs, okay. Of course, I should have known that, really. I don't know why... I don't know why I, di I didn't predict that. Not him throwing loads of bombs. There we go. The underappreciated projectiles a bit. Really, it, It's absolutely beautiful, uh, this blue... This blue hammer. Very weird for Matsunaga to be all of his own. I remember um, in Sabra Warriors 4 2, he had his own story. Okay, that, that was sick, can I just say that? Giving Matsunaga his own story in Sabra Warriors 4 2 was absolutely amazing. If I'm, if I'm not mistaken, uh, I'm pretty sure that uh, Munenori Yagyu was on Matsunaga's sides. That's because Munenori Yagi's father was uh, serving Matsunaga. So, yeah. And they had the Munenori. I don't know if they had even Sakun, you know. Because Sakun is from Yamato. Uh, the province. The province the Matsunaga rules. But I'm not sure. Maybe they should have had the Sakun in this game. But obviously, there will be no point because Sakun. Sakun only uh, is only relevant during Sekigahara and uh, Ideyoshi's conquest. So yeah, he, he really, even though he's a great, uh, a great samurai, he, he doesn't like have uh, lots of battles. Sakun, besides Ideyoshi's conquest and Sekigahara, it's the samurai that he's active later on. So yeah, but we need to lead a fireball cannon. 
It's kind of weird because before I, I let you, we, before you know in in the old, in the stage against Matsunaga, we did everything to stop the, the fireballs cannons, but now we need I need to lead them, and that was just one. Ironically, it's not it's not like three like uh, the one against Matsunaga. The irony, <laughs> like of course they want to make things hard for uh, for you, like really. See now it's only one, but before uh, there were three. Like, come on, man. Oh really? And he dies so fast. Fuck off. Can't believe I to use my skills to get rid of this fucking shields. Look how annoying they are. Holy shit. Uh, I'm gonna use the soul. No, no, I'm gonna use the soul. I'm gonna use the soul. I'm gonna use the soul. Jesus! They fucking wrecked me! No choice, man. They were fucking destroying me. Well, uh, thank God there's another. That was crazy, man! Sorry, but that was insane. Come on. I was getting wrecked very hard. It's weird, really, how now every time you need to escort a, a soldier or something, uh, they will reappear. In the previous games, if if he die, if you know whoever you have to escort, it dies. The dies. You failed. You failed the mission. So I can't believe they made things very, very easy for this for this type of objectives. I'm sort of glad because really the objectives in Samurai Warriors is probably are like annoying as hell so make giving you like a breed that's absolutely necessary so I'm very glad it done that the rest will always be the same of course Matsunaga dying but it's nice to see him from to see this battle from his perspective. I wish the more battles could be like this. No many battles uh, are like this, unfortunately. There's only Mikata Gahara, probably like one of the few remember is Mikata Gahara, then uh, the the fall of the Amago, where you can play as both Amago and Mori. Mikata Gahara, you can play as both uh, uh, Tagara and Tokugawa. Then this, we can play as both Matsunaga and no Matsunaga. He, the time limit to kill Nobutada is, is insane, like, really. So I'm just gonna do this. Wow, are we really going to win? Wonder. This will be interesting. Hmm. On. Ow. Ow. Oh, I hate so much this fucking rifles, whoever is shooting me. Ow, ow. Can't do shit, really. What? Is that daddy behind the shield, the motherfucker? What? This is irritating, really. Okay, this is fucking irritating. I can't believe it. They are so irritating their rifles. Holy shit, if they're irritating. I hate how they force me to spam Musou, because I don't want to spam this Musou. It's too broken, but I'm, I have no choice. Because they're everywhere, these rifles. They're fucking everywhere. Motherfuckers. So is that it? Is that that's what we had this this battle? Wow. Oh Ambe. Yes, I came to stop here. Okay, I didn't I didn't know Ambe was here. I knew it. I, I knew it was an objective. Like I had a feeling. How can this rifles? 
Is there any other objective that I'm not aware of? It seems like now the only way is to Nobunaga. So let's go. Knock knock! No, actually I'm gonna knock with the bomb. Knock knock! Boom! Says the one, really? That's Tsunaba. Says the one who joined uh, Yoshitatsu. Oh my god. Like, really? That's Tsunaba calling Matsunaga traitor. Okay, that's very hypocrite. That's so hypocrite. Oh my god. What an hypocrite is he, that's Tsunaba. Ooh, three hundred above dozen troops here. So where's the three? Oh, never mind. Never mind. Happy birthday to me. It's not, it's not my birthday, by the way. Just in case people come back casting it. Uh, happy birthday. No, it's not my birthday. So please don't say in the comments happy birthday because uh, it's not my birthday. My, my birthday is the 2nd of December, by the way. Just in case people want to take a note, if you want to take a note, my birthday is on the 2nd of December. Yeah, 2nd of December. 2 of December. That's my birthday. Just in case you want to know. I never let people know about my birthday for some reason. I don't know why. I just don't want to... I just don't want to be like an attention seeker. It's going to be low Loki wants me to say happy birthday. Like, I mean... I feel like I, I will be, I will, I will give the idea to be an attention seeker if I say that it's my birthday. But I feel like I'll have to because people sometimes they misunderstand the, then they say happy birthday to me when it's not because it, it, it did happen. So I, I'd rather not that that uh, happen again. Oh, it is. She's here. Of course, I knew it. Ooh, they, what the hell happened? They ambushed me. What the fuck? I got ambushed. Okay, that, that was unexpected. Okay, I didn't know that. Holy shit. Can't believe it. Wow. Momochi betrayed Matsunaga. I can't believe it. What? See, he betrayed Matsunaga. Holy shit. He got betrayed. Can't believe it. Can't believe go backstab him, Baba Sandayu. Honestly. Uh, let's see if they got any objective with Mitsuhide. I bet that's an obje main objective. Eh, uh, we got a withdraw? Well, not before I kill these motherfuckers. Oh, come on. Because they might give me an objective. You never know. Ow. Is that a backstabber? Oh, shit. Yes, he knew that they were the backstabber. I'm gonna kill the backstabbers, they might have an objective. Yeah, I knew it. Man, what the fuck? It's because I, I literally, I have no level up is I hated that much. Hmm, <sighs> my god. 
Let's see if they're gonna jet the, uh, these guys. So I don't know. Hello, objectives? No, the fuck you. Literally, fuck off. Since you gave me no objectives, then I don't care. I, I was pretty sure it would give me an objective, but it didn't. So, whatever. I can't believe that Momochi ba backstabs and Dayu and even convinced him to betray Nobunaga. Like, really, man. In some of Wars 4, it was Isahide who will convince people to betray Nobunaga. Like, he convinced Nagamasa to, be to betray Nobunaga, Isahide, but it was the one plotting. But now it's. It's uh, Sandayu. Can't believe it. There's always loads of plotting. Backstabbing. There's too much backstabbing in, in Nobunaga's era. Well, even in Sigigahara's era, there's a lot of backstabbing too, but still. Okay. More objectives? I don't think so. And I knew it. So he said it was just waiting for the door to open so he could kill Nobunaga. My god. Imagine if the door would actually open it. It makes you wonder what if Matsunaga would have won and what, what would have happened really? If Matsunaga was able to kill Nobunaga, what would have happened like, really? It makes you think. It really makes you think a lot. Seriously though, so many people betray Nobunaga. Like so many. It makes you think maybe Nobunaga was, was actually quite bad, if you think about it. If so many be people betray Nobunaga, then... Uh, I mean, there must be a reason, right? Because I don't know what to think, really. A lot of people betrayed him. Like, a lot. So yeah, he must make you think. That something was not right about Nobunaga, in fact. If people kept backstabbing him, then uh, I suppose uh, he actually did something bad. <laughs> 2,000 kills, my god. It does take a while to complete this stage, I'm not gonna lie. I didn't know it would be this long, I thought it was a bit shorter, but apparently it's quite long. This is why I'm literally rushing the horse, because it's been long this stage. Like, it is quite long, so... Yeah, Mitsuhide can backstab his own way, he doesn't need you. Mitsuhide is like the pro backstabber. Makes you think what will happen if Mitsuhide failed to kill Nobunaga or even... Uh, if Matsunaga managed to kill Nobunaga and succeed in his rebellion, it makes it. There's lots of things that make you think. Really, man. They should make some what if scenarios. I know what they did in, in uh, Samurai's 4 too. They, they made a what if if Matsunaga won. But it was nothing special, really. Like Matsunaga, I don't know what you'd have done. Kick, <laughs> 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 
お前を置いてはいかぬ。さあ、共に参ろう Oh, come on, I really missed an objective. Really? Oh well. Alright then. So, this was the Matsunaga version. Same result, he died, but it was quite refreshing, I must say. Well, refreshing. Uh, it was smoking or refreshing, but okay. So, fellow warriors, again, thanks for everybody for me this far. And like, subscribe, comment. Maybe consider becoming a member of my channel so you can get access to uh, exclusive perks, coffee time if you want to watch video previews, mostly member and ultimate member if you want to watch exclusive let's play. But keep in mind that ultimate member is just for people who want to support the channel like really bad. You still got the same perks as me. So thanks again and activate the bell to receive every notification, subscribe to my girlfriend, pretty obsessive. And I'll check you guys soon to the next episode. See you soon and take care. Don't miss the next episode.